All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Maddie's vlog. Hey. Today, we're gonna be talking about this amazing idea. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. All you had to do is just came and watch Maddie explaining this amazing, amazing themes of today. And I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed. Let's go. They are protecting. Like last year when we played them, like our team sucked, right? So it was like, okay, whatever. Like, How funny. So was this like one of those pranks they did? Um, is that what it is? Okay, up. You get up in the morning. Yes. And say, all right, today I'm going to be an ambassador for Ari. And then these are the color coordinations. These are the brands that I want to wear. <laughs> you know, honestly, it's not in the morning. It's the night before. <laughs> You already He's planned prepared. out like, I'm out, Yeah, this was already laid out on the floor. I was like, that's what I'm wearing tomorrow. So you have it like, all right, socks, underwear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very specific. Yeah. Belt, I did that too, uh, though. I yeah. did that too. The I mean, I have, a, I have Bugs Bunny on my shoes and I have Bugs Bunny here. See? Like, we have, we have similar, we have similar I have brands. Black we think outfit. alike. Yeah. Black <laughs> like, still, but this is still a coordinated <laughs> outfit. Yeah, you know? like you put some thought into it. Yeah, right? you put some thought into what you want to wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for me, it's like the brand. It's always like, <laughs> there is a brand, yeah. There is a brand. A brand yes. In it, yes. And then they need to be collaborated together. Yeah. Of course. I mean, why not? I would be like, you <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I would, I would be be like better you. than me, man. <laughs> you can do so much better. Yeah. I swear. Oh, God. I chose a great day to wear white and park here in the sun. Anyways, I am here in Hawthorne. It is Friday. We're doing a field trip for my 551 class, which is directing the virtual world, um, which you guys have seen a little bit about in previous vlogs, but I'm here a little bit early and we're gonna go look at, I think an LED wall, kind of like a mini LED wall, which similarly used in shows like The Mandalorian. So technology like that, we're gonna go check it out. So I hope that they'll allow me to vlog. I'm gonna do as much as I possibly can, but enough with this super blown out white jacket which i don't like at all because it's just that's maybe better right there anywho but yeah i'm gonna go meet up with my friends and professors and see what today brings afterwards i should be having dinner with joey so i'm excited to hang out with her again it's been quite some time so anywho i gotta go this is way ah, i hate this all right i'll see you guys hopefully inside the led wall room place. I don't know the name of the studio, but we'll find out. Okay, season. That's me. That's cool. Vlog camera. I love it. I know, right? It's a cool looking car. Thanks. Yeah, it's Good. Daddy <laughs> Nation. What's up? What's up? No, it's about 11 by 21. And this is 7 by 21. We're going to have a bigger wall than this. Oh, it's going to be bigger than this? Yeah, it's That's good. How oh, cool. 50%. Yeah, this is too small. Is it going to be tall, like in both directions, length and width? Or? Yeah, it'll be about 11 feet tall and about 21 feet wide. Oh, that's, that's amazing. amazing. The final dimensions are. Oh, floating. Right. Okay. okay. Could be 20 and a half by a 10 and a half, or it could God. be 11 and a half by 21. Somewhere in that. Isn't that crazy? That's uh, the LED yes. wall. Right there. How real or fake does it look? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like, oh, 
awkward, doesn't it? Look at it that feels awkward. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely feels awkward. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had an assistant once a long time ago. Actually, it was on Blade Runner. Well, really? Is, yeah, and she. Oh, sorry, sorry. she I said uh, something. I said, can you go over to the camera and check the focal length on the lens or something? And she said, which end of that? Which end of it? It's, uh, I, uh, you're not gonna laugh. Oh, <laughs> how sad. <laughs> it was okay. Moses, what is that? You're asking, like, oh, I mean, that's what it's. That's what it's. Okay, so it's this, right? Can you show me real quick? Watch the LED wall. You see it? Oh, wow. It's like a first person shooter game. Interesting. So, this thing on the top is looking at all these tracker dots on the wall. To, oh. to get its own location. Oh, that's what those dots yeah. are. That is really cool. Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine. You hear that? USC? <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is really cool. Well, this box here talks to all of these dots that we see. Hi. This is white dots. And it just pretty much triangulates where this moves. This is the kind of technology that they're using on shows like The Mandalorian and other shows as well. So it's pretty cool. We're here to check it out and learn a little bit more about it. So I'm excited to see um, and learn a little bit more about it. Okay. See you soon. What's up, YouTube? My name is Matty Beeves. I'm here to explain the smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Tell your mom, tell your friends. But really, please do. Tell your in laws. <laughs> tell your dog. You tell your dog to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. Is this like Saw 17? This that is we're Saw. Filming? I think this is the set of Saw. <laughs> oh. This is how they filmed it, right? Exactly. <laughs> the LED walls. In yes. Good to see you. All of everything I'll go over for the next four and a half hours will affect every one of you more and more every year that's coming, right? So this is the cutting edge of modern in-camera visual effects. But it's also like there was a time period when everything was filmed and we had ASA 50 cameras and everything was done on one of two film stocks. Everything looked in a certain box, right? And then the dev digital revolution came and there were a whole segment of directors and cinematographers that didn't make that transition. That was the Cambrian die off into the digital age. And I watched a whole slew of people I knew that were very talented just get nudged out of the scene because they did not adapt. They died, hmm. right? This is another layer to that kind of tech. For today, we have a, a greedy warehouse is the scene. That whole world is created in Unreal Engine. And then we have a virtual camera somewhere in there that we move that camera around and we see what's in the room, right? And we pan over here, right? You see this. We move that virtual camera over, we see around the corner to that barrel, right? And like a first person shooter, you notice how that concrete wall moves? You see more stuff? It's called parallax, right? What's your parallax? What do you see from your vantage point? As you move, you see more stuff, right? So you, it eclipses that wall, right? So that is the cornerstone of why this looks so good and so realistic. It's not a 2D plate that we're sliding around. You know, you get that interaction off and it just fools the brain in a lovely way. So I've got him firm. Okay, come uh, come over here a little bit. Yeah, okay, this is good, right there. You guys uh, run into any problems that you've uh, found or, you know, like there's some air. You know, maybe we want the window light a little brighter, you know? And then, uh, let's down a little bit. And then come around on him a little bit. So I'll show the window in the background. Yeah, go right. camera right, go camera right. Yeah. We got the YouTuber. <laughs> there's, a, there's, always a, there's always a tripod extender. Yeah. Hey, uh, how do we know it I don't know if you're in. I'm in. Okay, yeah. you're in? Okay. All right. You're in? You're Wait, in. You're in. You're in. What are we looking at? Yeah. We're looking at the camera. There's, there's three of them. Three of them. Which one? Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Do we get it? Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's like getting a plate. Okay, we got it. Yeah. 
exactly. <laughs> And that was that. I hope you enjoyed that little segment of Moses Studios. It was really cool, really fun. Super knowledgeable cinematographer who we heard from, Wolfie, when he goes by. So he is a like guru at Unreal Engine and virtual cinematography. So I learned a lot and I'm super thankful for that opportunity. A lot of my friends, my peers that you saw, we all had fun as well. So it is now 6.30. And I am here in Echo Park area. I'm gonna get some pho with my friend Jo Yi. This is my second time coming here to this restaurant. So it's really good. I hope that she enjoys it and I hope that we have a good time. I haven't seen Jo Yi in a long time and you haven't seen her on the vlog in a while as well. So she'll be pretty dope. She's gonna be here in about five minutes. So I see you soon. What did you think of the pho? It was really good. It's good, right? Yeah, yeah. The flavor is there? Yeah, the flavor. I love the noodles. Okay, the noodles yeah. are really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and the chicken? Um, How was it? Chicken, was okay? I would say I have another favorite place, but oh. the noodles is like, it's really good. It's good, really good. It's okay. way better than the other places. Oh, interesting. And you ate all of it? Like, it's all gone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like Joey said, this place is really good. The noodles are actually really awesome. I like the texture. They weren't too soft and they weren't too hard. It was like right in the middle. So it was good. The broth was amazing, but I had to add some sriracha, much like Joey did. I saw her do it, so I was like, why don't I just copy her? <laughs> But it was nice, it added a little spice to it and it gave it a little bit more flavor, a little bit more dynamic taste. And the egg rolls, which are no longer here. It's because they're really good. <laughs> I like them a lot. Uh, the sauce that it came with, I don't remember the name of it, but it was really, really good. It added another layer to it, so it was amazing. And I almost ate all of it. This is Joey's bowl, but really most of our stuff is still in the bag. Um, so we'll, we'll get to save some for later. But yes, this is Pho 87 in the Echo Park area. So if you're here in the LA area, come check it out. I think you'll like it. The people are really nice. They took forever to get me a spoon. Jo Yi wouldn't even touch her Pho until I got a spoon because she's so sweet. That's all I got. Okay, bye-bye.